Are you frustrated that things aren't going quite the way you'd like in your business? If so, it may be time for some self-reflection. Today's episode is about harnessing self-awareness so you can make any needed course corrections. Stay tuned. Namaste. January is a time for new beginnings and new starts. And it's also a time when you need to make sure that your mic is not muted <laughs> when you're going live on Facebook and LinkedIn. So if uh, anybody happened to be watching that first two minutes, I apologize. And, uh, but we're just going to carry on. And I, I love it. I think, I think that it's just so perfect because again, before you, before you know where you want to go in this new year that we are in, it's really good to reflect on where you've been. So that's what we're going to be talking about today on Live, Love, Engage, about reflecting, realigning, reigniting. So I am Gloria Grace, the light messenger. And the idea for this episode actually came about uh, in response to a discussion we were having last week, uh, I have a group called the Soulful Women's Network, and every month we do a uh, we have a what I call soulful discussion. So we we get together whether on Zoom or sometimes in person here in Florida. And so we were talking about the importance of reflection, and one of our members and our, our attendees said something really I thought that was just perfect about the fact that reflection starts with awareness and that we really do need to be aware of where we are in our life, where our business is before we can then really take a hard look at it. We've got to kind of see where we are and then we can really reflect and say, look at what what's going right, what's going wrong, where do I need to change? And, and that's really what we're going to, we're going to talk about because self-reflection at its heart is this process of really going within, uh, analyzing our, our strengths, looking at our thoughts, our feelings, and our behaviors, and identifying then, you know, where, where things are going well, where things need some uh, adjustment per se, you know, we've got some maybe weaknesses or something. And then that can help us in making better decisions going forward. So for instance, if you do some type of self-reflection and you realize that, let's say you want to be online more, you want to do videos, but you haven't done videos before, well, then you might want to consider hiring maybe specifically a video coach, but perhaps just simply starting out initially with a public speaking coach, someone who can help you be confident with your message, and then can also then help you to be confident on camera. Self-reflection also helps you to make decisions that are in line with your values, your goals and vision for the company. So it gives you a chance to make sure everything really is how you want it to be, how you how you're envisioning your company. And it can also help you to be more creative and develop emotional resilience as well. So how do we do this? Well, reflecting, as I said, we can we can start certainly by going within and maybe even just journaling, uh, making a list of what's going on in your business right now. What are you doing? Making a list of your, your skills, your values, and seeing where there are room, where there is room, I should say, for adjustment, where there's room for improvement. And then you can start looking at ways to be able to do that in this coming year. There's also, you may want to take advantage of certain personality tests that could help you as well. There's like the Myers-Briggs, I know there's a DISC assessment and, and they can help you also help you understand yourself and how you relate to others, uh, your customers or employees. So once you've 
understood where you are, where your what your current position is in your in your business and hey, even in your life at, at sometimes as well, then this might be where you can start to realign and adjust your path. And this is one of the things that I did. <laughs> so I'll share share an example from my life is that last week after we had our meeting, I decided on Friday that I wanted to spend some time in in this self-reflection process and see where I wanted to go in 2024. What was it I wanted to do going forward? And in the process of, of doing that, I, I, as I said, I went to the beach. I'm fortunate enough that I live in Florida. And so I was able to go to the beach, even though it was a cloudy morning, a little on the cooler side, but it was okay. And I spent some time first walking on the beach and then just sitting and I had my journal out and I started journaling about who am I? <laughs> what, what am I doing right now? And it helped me to develop some clarity on what I want to do going forward because for many years now, since 2009, when I first started on this entrepreneurial path, I was actively seeking clients for my SEO copywriting business. And if you're for, you're not familiar with the term SEO, it stands for search engine optimization. So essentially I was writing content for small businesses, for their websites, helping them to get found on Google, including keywords and the content and, and things like that. And I've, I've been doing that for now well over, a, a, what, 15, I guess this is going to be my 15th year. Holy moly, this is my 15th year. <laughs> oh my gosh, where did the time go? Wow. Oh my word. And I've enjoyed doing that work tremendously. I really have. And at the same time, over the last few years, I've, I've, published a book, uh, you know, Live, Love, Engage, How to Stop Doubting Yourself and Start Being Yourself. I've been doing this podcast now for, we're into our fifth season now. And I do uh, energy healing. I'm a Reiki practitioner and I channel light language. And those are the things that are really on my heart right now and really who I am and and I've been wanting for a while to start developing a course to teach the love method, which I, I wrote about in my book, because I know that this is something that really can help people to stop doubting themselves, to be more confident in themselves, and to be able to be be who they are, to really show up and not be wearing a mask or, you know, and I don't mean you know, physical mask. I mean, this mask of trying to pretend to be something that maybe somebody else wants us to be. And instead of being true to our heart and, and showing up as that person. So, so that was part of my realignment uh, that I went through. And, and as I say, journaling is a great way to do that. And just giving yourself the space and the time and, and sitting in the silence. I mean, I really did that for a while too, and just sort of sitting with my thoughts and seeing how I wanted to do that. Now, the other thing that you might want to do in January is to perhaps reignite your passion for your business if for some reason it has waned over the past year or past couple of years, depending. As you've gone through this self-reflection process, you may see that, hmm, you're not quite excited about it. And that's that's partly my story as well, is that as much as I do enjoy writing, when I'm in the midst of doing a process, project, it's not quite where I want to go. But if it was, one of the things you can do is to, to look at your why. Try to figure out why it was, go back to thinking about why it was you started your business in the first place. Because that could be something that 
maybe you've drifted apart from it or, or you've gotten so busy. You know, sometimes we just get so busy in our businesses that we don't take the time to truly focus on our, our mission and why we started our business. So it might be good to do that. And if you are really busy and you are stressed out, then you might also start looking at reevaluating your self-care practices as well. So that might be why you're not passionate is because you're frankly overworked and you're stressed out. I have a there's several other things that you can do. And in fact, I actually put together a whole checklist. So I, if you're interested in that, I will have a link to that in the show notes. And, and it's a really, it's basically a questionnaire that kind of looks at, you know, ways that you can sort of jumpstart your passion for your business again. So we talked about the importance of reflecting. We've talked about realigning, maybe adjusting your path, making sure that the work you're doing is in alignment with your values and your goals. Because one thing I didn't mention when we were talking about that is that when you are in alignment, it's going to help you to be more productive and you're going to enjoy your your the work that you do as a business owner, especially if you're a solo business owner. But if you have employees, then it's also in telling them about your the vision of your business and, and the values that you hold dear to that is going to help them as well because then they're going to understand it better and then they're going to be more apt to communicate that to your customers as well. And, and it's just going to foster a lot of of a much better working relationship with everyone and and to be able to help you achieve greater success as well. So I thought what we would do right now uh, is a exercise to help you in this process of reflection and to be able to, to do that. And it's just going to take a couple of minutes. So if you are listening, wherever you are listening to this uh, right now, if you're somewhere where you can actually find a comfortable, quiet space, and if if you're not able to do that, or if you're watching this on, the, on YouTube uh, later or whatever, but make sure, take some time. I would love you to be able to make sure that you can take some time. So I'm going to assume right now, even though my mother told me never to assume, I'm going to assume that you are someplace where you can actually be quiet and be comfortable. And we're just going to take a few minutes, just a couple of minutes and go through uh, a self-reflection exercise to help you to do this if you've never done it before. So why not? Let's, let's do that. So let's start. <sighs> let's start by breathing. Isn't that a wonderful thing that we have this ability to do? So let's just start by taking a slow, deep inhale and exhale. And just continue to do that for a minute or so. Just a slow inhale and exhale. And just pay attention to your breathing. Just be conscious of it. Don't struggle with it, but just notice it. And what I'm going to do is just ask you a couple of questions. And I just want you to think about them a little bit. And after we're done, you can have an opportunity to uh, maybe jot down some ideas that came to you. But just, just to start to get you thinking about this. So think about one success that you've experienced this past week, no matter how small. And it doesn't even have to be a success in your business. Maybe it's a success in your personal life. But just see if you can think of something. All right. 
hopefully you've come up with something by now. <laughs> now the next thing is to think about what, what is a challenge you're currently facing in your business right now? So what, what is something that you'd like to handle better, shall we say? Right. Now let's think about something going forward as we're heading into this new year. What does success look like for you in the next three months? What would, what would happen? What could happen for you that, let's say by April, that you can look back and say, ah, oh, yeah, I'm so glad that happened. That was awesome. Give you a little more time to think about that one. And then finally, what is one action you can take today that would move you closer to that vision of success? So as you're thinking about, thinking about all of these different things, just acknowledge any feelings or thoughts that come up. Because sometimes doing this type of self-reflection, it can actually bring up even some anxiety. And just be aware of that. And maybe after the podcast is over, you can journal a little bit more about this. And just remember... There's no right or wrong answers either. It's, this is just your own insights. It's about really going within and listening and seeing what your higher self has to say about it. All right, so let's just take one more deep breath. And if your eyes are closed, you could open them again. And, and again, just you can go back in after this maybe and, and listen to those questions again after we get done here today if you want to and and really take some time and and think about this be thoughtful and and see what comes to mind because it really i think reflection a self-reflection is a good thing to do not only once a year but it could be something you might want to do once a month or certainly maybe once a quarter and just to see if you're on track. And I would love to know what your thoughts were about this. If you've, if you've even done any self-reflection in the past or what, yeah, what your thoughts are. So certainly you can leave a comment uh, if, on my website. If you go to liveloveengagepodcast.com, you'll be able to... Um, find this episode and then uh, you can leave a comment there or you can certainly contact me on social media i'm on facebook linkedin at gloria grace rand you can uh, contact me there and i'd love to know what your experience of that was and i really hope that you will take some time this month and spend some time in self-reflection and it and see what comes up for you because i do know for me it was very helpful <laughs> for me and what i wanted to uh, how i want to move forward in 2024. i wasn't sure if i wanted to do this today but i've decided that i'm going to <laughs> for those of you who are regular subscribers of the podcast or if you watch it if you're a subscriber on youtube you, when I do my solo episodes, I love to share at the end of the episode 
something that I mentioned earlier on today, that something that I do, which is I share uh, light language, which is an energy healing modality. It is something that I am able to channel from uh, higher realms, shall we say. And it is, uh, I, I speak it and I sing it, and it's a really uh, calming experience when you when you listen to it and I've got other podcast episodes where I've talked about it more but I'm just going to share a little bit of that with you today and encourage you this is again something that you might want to not be necessarily driving a car when you listen to it so you want to take some time where you can again sit and reflect but this is one of those days it's a, it's, it's a reflection day today so I'm encouraging you to uh, just have an open mind to what comes through and to just, um, yeah, to just be, be still and know and see uh, what well, I always set the intention that the message that will be shared is something that is for my soul's highest good and, uh, and the highest good of all concerned. And hopefully my internet will behave itself because I see I don't have a very strong signal at the moment, but I'm I'm going to trust that it's going to behave and will come back and be strong as I do this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm setting that intention right now. And yeah, just a, a, a general message to help you in, in your self-reflection process this month. Koyana Kayato Thank you for listening today. I hope you I hope you received that with the love that uh, was intended for you. And I think that's just going to do it, <laughs> just about do it. That's what I was trying to say for this edition of Live, Love, Engage. And I encourage you to join me next week. I will be back with a guest. I am going to be talking with Carol Williams, who is a business and life coach known as the productivity guru. And her passion is to powerfully support scattered entrepreneurs so they can live their lives and have the business they dream about. So I am looking forward to this discussion and I hope you will tune in. I will be back here. Uh, you'll hear this on your favorite podcast platform. It'll be, it'll be available, but if you want to actually tune in live, you can watch the interview on Facebook and LinkedIn. And then it will also be, I also upload it to YouTube later as well. So you'll be able to see it there. I just try to make it available in all different possibilities <laughs> so you can access it. I want to meet you where you are. That's, that's my, that's my plan. And that's my, that's, that's it. That's what I'm sticking to. So until next time, as always, I encourage you to go out and live fully, love deeply, and engage authentically.